So question 18, the one that seemed to stump everybody. I thought this was a very, very nice question overall. So let's see what we've got. We've got potassium dichromate, which of course we've seen a lot, is used as a reagent in acid solution in a wide range of redox reactions. So there is dichromate, okay? The dichromate ions can be reduced using excess metal zinc. So if dichromate is going to be reduced, that means the zinc is going to be oxidized. Well, here's a reduction half equation involving zinc. OK, so the first two equations we're going to be interested in are there's the reduction one. And there's the oxidation one taking our reduction half equation and flipping it around. OK, so dichromate there being reduced, metallic zinc, obviously having to be oxidized. OK, so then Elvid performs the experiment in a sealed tube under an atmosphere of pure nitrogen gas. Fatima, Fatima performs the experiment in a standard test tube, which obviously therefore implies an atmosphere of uh, oxygen as well as the nitrogen. Final products, the same in each case, different in each case, use the standard electrode potentials below to identify those products, give reasons for your answers. OK, well, let's first of all think about the actual reaction they're doing. We're doing dichromate here is the reduction. Zinc is the oxidation. Put those together. And you're going to have a very, very high potential for that because the dichromate 1.33, the zinc 0.76. So overall plus 2.09. OK, so we're making Cr3 plus and zinc 2 plus with a potential of plus 2.09 volts. Very, very, very large potential as potentials goes. Very spontaneous reaction or very feasible reaction if you want to use that silly word. Now, why is the question any more complicated than that? Well, because we have this word up here, excess. We've got excess metallic zinc around. In other words, we've got this pretty good reducing agent around. OK, something this really wants to be oxidized. So can it go ahead and reduce anything else? Well, we've made zinc 2 plus. That's obviously nothing to do. Uh, further with the zinc, because that's the product of the zinc, but we've also made CR3+. Now let's have a look at the other information that they've given us here. Always good to look at the information, decide if you want it. And what we see is that we've got two half equations that can further reduce CR3+. We've got this one here, where CR3+, can be reduced to CR, and that's got a potential of minus 0.78. Well, minus 0.78 is more negative than our plus 0.76 is positive. But we also have CR3 plus here being reduced to CR2 plus, and that's just minus 0.42. So our excess zinc that gives us plus 0.76 volts can go ahead and reduce the CR3 plus that we made to CR2+. So that's a second reaction going on. Still having the zinc being oxidized, being a super reducing agent, and that's reducing the CR3 plus to CR2 plus. Put those two numbers together, the minus 0.42 for the reduction potential, but the plus 0.76 for the oxidation, and we get plus 0.34 volts. OK, so when we do this all together, taking the dichromate with zinc makes CR3 plus, but the excess zinc takes the CR3 plus to CR2 plus. So both of these students are going to make CR2 plus. Now, of course, that's it because Elved did it under nitrogen. Nothing else fancy there. But let's see what other bits of information we've got associated with Fatima. And the answer is she did it in a standard test tube. And the standard test tube means there's oxygen present. Well, how does that help us here? Well, here's oxygen as a possible oxidizing agent, because, of course, oxygen is a very good oxidizing agent. Take oxygen with water quite happily goes reduced to four hydroxides with plus 0.4 volts. So we got this potential for this reduction to go on. Now, what else do we have in there? Well, we have CR2+. Now, we know about making CR2+, from a reduction. We just did that. Well, let's flip that round to talk about the oxidation. 
of CR2+. And CR2+, wouldn't half mind getting oxidized back to CR3+, potential of plus 0.42 volts. So we've got something that can do a reduction quite happily, something that can do an oxidation quite happily. What do you think will happen? Well, the answer is the third reaction that didn't take case for Elved because Elved didn't have oxygen, but Fatima has that oxygen. So oxygen there, reduction, CR2+, plus oxidation, put those together, a nice positive overall cell potential, and so therefore Fatima will end up making CR3+. So again, both of them take CR2072- the dichromate using zinc, making CR3+. Because you have excess metal zinc, we can take CR3 plus to CR2 plus, and LVED stops there. But then Fatima, having oxygen around in that third reaction, will take the CR2 plus up to CR3 plus. What a lovely question. Hope you understood that one. If not, drop me a line and I'll see if I can present it in any different way.